Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at Black Cat. Now, I've heard great things about her, and when I pulled her, I was actually very excited because of the things that I've heard. But I don't have any personal experience with her. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into her kit. We're going to... Oh, that sounded bad. Um, we're going to take a look at her different abilities and see what all the hype is about and then we're going to take her into realm of legends and see if we can't uh use some of the things that we've learned all right so we're going to be learning together so first thing i'm going to do i'm going to turn off my camera so that we can focus on black cat all right so this is my seven star rank one black cat Let's take a look at the synergies first of all. All right, so these first, one of the things that I look at in synergies is who the synergy is with and whether it's someone that I would be likely to bring along. Those two I see right there are not someone I would likely bring along on my team. All right, but let's see, uh, while the heist is not active, Gain a 10% chance to evade for each other Spider-Verse hero team member. I don't know how good that is, but it's not exciting me. All right. Black Cat starts the fight with 40 additional hits in her combo meter. Now, from what I understand, her combo meter does make a difference. So that's actually a pretty good uh, sounding synergy. And... Both of those two uh, members I could see putting on the team. Domino more than uh, long shot. Just preference. All right. Crime and punishment. Whenever a champion knocks her out, Black Cat places an indefinite crossfight vengeance passive on them. Wow. Against an opponent with a vengeance effect, Black Cat starts the fight with an indefinite fury passive increasing her attack by 30 percent wow who is who is that with hmm i don't know if i i might bring them just for that if if you're doing long form content that could be huge i don't know how well it stacks since i do run the ouchy masteries i don't know how well that stacks but Wow, that that could be interesting. And if you don't run the Ouchie Masteries, this is a really good one for you. Very good. All right, Cat Scratch, Cat Scratch Fervor, not Fever. Interesting. All right, potency of the champion's bleed debuffs increase with their combo. Okay, so, wow. That is a nice uh, synergy right there. Um, out of those, Killmonger, I could see myself bringing. Now, if you also have this synergy here, wow. So, Domino on the team, which I can see. And then one of the kitty kitty cats, like Killmonger, I could see. We're going to test that out. And then the final one is just some critical rating. Uh, and these are, it's funny how they chose some good ones for like the weakest synergy. You know, look at this. Kingpin? Of course. Um, Doc Ock, Green Goblin. They, but Venom and Scorpion? Those are great. They need to be up higher. In one of the other uh, synergies. But, all right. Let's take a look at her kit. Well, actually, before we do that, take a look at her tags. Hero, size small, offensive burst. Okay, so she is a sturdy um, attacker. But, sadly, that doesn't really help us in war. Um, I'm not going to even get into that. All right. Uh, so... I don't have her awakened yet. Let's see. She starts with a combo shield. 
Okay. They fall off. Okay, so it's basically the combo shield, which means you have a better chance to maintain your damage. If your damage is based on your combo, you know. So that's nice, but she doesn't need it. Okay. Her critical hits inflict bleed. All right. Dealing direct damage over seven. All right. Now, this calling card, this is the one that I think we really should uh, understand here. All right. To go to her target, blah, 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 calling a card. Okay. So the opponent begins the fight with this calling card. Black Cat will steal the calling card from the opponent whenever she intercepts them or strikes them while they are standing up. Okay, while they are standing up, not already standing up. So that means they're recovering from a knockdown. That's how I understand that. Or recovering from a heavy or special attack. Okay, then she will plant the calling card back on the opponent with each of her heavy attacks. So I'm looking at a ping pong game here. Okay. Uh, Okay, each time the calling card changes hands, Black Cat adds one combo to her combo meter and gains a cruelty passive, increasing her critical damage uh, rating. So that means she's going to crit more. I think that's... That is very... See, critical damage rating. So... I think I guess that means she's gonna hit harder. Okay. Uh, these bonuses are multiplied for each time the card has changed hands this fight. All right. So, um, ping pong. It definitely looks like. And what you want to do, based just on this, is you want to intercept or strike them while they're recovering you know, standing up or recovering from a heavy or a special attack, then you want to hit them with a heavy attack. Okay? So hit them with a heavy attack, and if you can hit them while they're standing up, and that way, the more you the card changes hands, the more damage you're going to do. We'll test that out. Um, her expertise in thievery means that ability accuracy reduction cannot cause her to fail to steal or plant the calling card. Okay, so she can have her ability accuracy reduced according to that, but it will never prevent her from, it won't interfere with her calling card mechanic. Okay, the heist. Now, what is this? At the start of the fight, the heist is on. Lasts for 45 seconds, and when it ends, one of the following two effects occur. All right. If the calling card is on Black Cat, it converts, it converts into a vicious passive, increasing the potency of her damage over time, debuffs by 50%. Ooh, for 15 seconds. If it's on the opponent, it converts into a sabotage debuff, reducing the opponent's defensive ability accuracy by 40, and dealing... Oh, wow. A lot of direct damage whenever their defensive abilities fail to trigger. Wow. So that's a little bit of um, some flexibility. You can go for damage, you know, keep the card until you get your damage, you know, you know, have it go back and forth, back and forth, and then hold it to get damage. Or... You can let them keep it, but if it's an opponent that has a lot of defensive abilities that you want to shut down or punish, wow, that could be interesting. All right, bad luck aura. What is this? Uh, each hit in Black Cat's combo meter, the opponent's defensive ability accuracy is passively reduced by 2%. Oh, or twice that against science opponents okay up to a maximum of 60 percent okay whenever an opponent's ability fails to trigger due to a, 
accuracy reduction, Black Cat pauses each of her personal passives and debuffs for 1.8 seconds. Okay. She looks very interesting. All right, special one. Okay, if she doesn't have the calling card, she purifies up to three debuffs. Really? If no debuffs were purified, she grants herself a cleanse passive for 13 seconds. Wow. She just became um, friendly to my ouchie masteries. So as long as I don't have the calling card, I can fire my special one and cleanse or, or uh, purify my debuffs, which would be mainly the uh, uh, poison debuff. Wow. If Black Cat does have the calling card, landing this attack plants it back on the opponent and extends the heist by nine seconds. Interesting. This is very interesting. Uh, during this attack, her special two, her crit rating is increased, okay, for each hit in both champions' combo meters. Well, unless they have a combo shield or something like that, the only one that it really matters is going to be Black Cat, right? She's the only one that's going to have a combo. Instead of her regular bleeds, this attack inflicts critical bleeds. Okay. Okay. So the special two does crit bleeds. Landing this attack steals or plants the calling card that ends the heist. Hmm. Okay. Let's look at that heist again. Hmm. Okay. So let me see. If the calling card is on them, I wonder, and I fire the special two, that would steal it and then give me the vicious passive? I have to play around with that. That, that, that's interesting. All right, and special three, inflict the opponent with a non-stacking infuriate debuff, 13, okay. Uh, causing them to become more aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, if it's currently active, refresh the heist timer. Okay. I don't know how much uh, the special three does, but just looking at the extra things it does here, I, I think we want to do special one and twos with Black Cat. Um, the Infuriate is just a, a basically like a taunt. And it reduces their offensive ability accuracy. So I guess that can also be useful in some cases. Okay. This is interesting. She looks pretty decent. All right. Uh, we'll be back and we will play around with Winter Soldier and see if we can learn a little bit more about how to play Black Cat. All right. So we'll be right back. All right. We're going to go in here against Winter Soldier. You can see who I'm bringing in. Uh, those two synergies were the ones that um, interested me the most uh, with Killmonger and with uh, Domino. And they're basically more damage. So let's take a look at this black cat here. I'm very interested. I, I, I probably will not play her to her best. You know, this is the first time I'm really using her here. Okay. Okay, so he has the, um, all right, just stole it. So now I want to get it back. Okay. All right, just took it back. Okay, we're just playing that ping pong that I was talking about earlier. Okay, it's mine. Now it's his. Okay, come on. Come on. Ooh, I hate when he does that. All right. Woo! 
Ooh, nasty critical bleed. Okay, I don't see the calling card. Let's get some of this in here. Okay, there it is. The heist is back on. Wow. Do y'all see that damage? Do y'all see the damage? And I know I didn't use her properly. Okay. That was a lot of damage. Wow. Let's do something else. Let's do one more fight here. Good night. That was some nasty bleed damage. Okay. So... Okay, got the bleeds. I also have deep wounds on, by the way. Okay. Here we go. Took it back. Heavy attack. Come on. Whoops. Caught my toe. All right. Took it back. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Woo! That is a lot of damage. And it keeps its combo, too. Wow. Okay. Okay. Let's get a special three in here. Let me see what it looked like. You look at it over here. <laughs> oh! Oh, go here, girl. Oh! Okay, okay. Yeah, this is interesting. Oh, how did she block that? Let's get a special one in before we end this. Hmm. Yeah, I'm liking her. I may have to take her up to uh, uh, rank two. I definitely like her. Okay, that's going to do it for now. I need to play around with her more. Leave a comment. Let me know your different you know, tips and tricks on playing her and all that good stuff. People who come by to look at the video can also look at the comments. Uh, and also be enriched by uh, any information that you share. All right. And I definitely will be reading them because she's looking good right now. And I need to learn more about, you know, her rotation and all that good stuff. But yeah, I'm liking her. All right. Anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment, as I mentioned. And you all have a blessed day.